Today we're going to make a case for your cell phone or uh, your smartphone, your iPhone, uh, to make it easier. We're going to have a little strap on it, so like a little bag. So if you're going for a walk with your dog um, or out with the kids and you just want your phone close by, it makes it easy, um, especially if you don't have pockets. Uh, so first we're going to chain 14 stitches. Oh, and we're going to make it rainbow because rainbows are beautiful. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right, so the pattern we're going to do is we're going to do a row of single crochets and then a row of double crochets and then change to the next color. So first we're going to chain one to turn the corner and this will be just regular single crochets for all 14 stitches. And then once we get to the end We will chain two. All right, almost to the end here. stitch here. All right, so chain two, one, two. We'll turn and go back the other way. But this time we'll do double crochet. So yarn over into the first stitch, through the first two, and then through the second two. And again, till you get to the very end. And then when we get to our last stitch, we're going to bring our next color in. Oop. Last stitch, I always put it through both loops. Give a good foundation. And there you have the red, the beginning of our bag. So next we're, oh, silly me, I forgot. We're just gonna undo that last two. Uh, and we're gonna add the orange, so let me go back. So for that last stitch, Go in, you have the three along there. Go through the first two, and instead of finishing with red, we're gonna change to orange. And finish our stitch with orange. Just like that. All right, so and then we go back to the same pattern. We'll do chain one and single crochet this row. So the pattern is, for each new color, you do a regular single crochet, the next row double crochet, and then you switch colors. Um, and just make sure that when you're about to do a single crochet, you chain one at the beginning of the row. <clears throat> and when you're doing a double crochet, you, uh, single, or you chain two before you start your row. 
and then we'll just do orange, yellow, um, and we'll go through the rainbow. And I'm going to speed it up a little bit, but you get the idea. So here we have the first side of our little bag. Uh, so we're going to repeat the same pattern, except we're going to go backwards. So we're going to do purple, blue, green, yellow, uh, orange, and red. So we're going to do a row of single purple crochets, then double crochets, and then we're going to switch and do the blue, the green, the yellow, the orange, and the red. And so that way it will mirror and it'll be red at the top and purple at the bottom. So instead of changing colors, I'm going to do purple again and then move on to blue. So we'll start with a single right here. And then when we're done the single row, we'll do a double and then switch colors. So I'll speed it up again. So you'll have a, a wider thing of purple, but that will be the bottom of the bag. All right, so here we are, almost done. We're gonna do the last few stitches here. Whoop, forgot to do the yarn over. All right, <clears throat> so here we are with our beautiful case. So the next thing we're gonna do is sew in all these ends here. And then once that's done, we're gonna line up the yellows and the oranges and the greens, and then we're gonna sew it together in a special way so that uh, it also uh, will be making a strap all at the same time. So we're gonna pause it, sew up all these little strings here, and then we'll work on uh, sewing and making the strap for the bag. All right, so here we have our rainbow, and we're just going to fold in half and make sure that all the colors align. And we're going to crochet both sides together. Now I'm gonna double up my string, because uh, I want it to be a little thicker for when we get to the strap part of our bag. So I'm just going to Poke through the bottom here and pull the string through. So we have a loop with the tail, and then we're going to do a single crochet there. Now, what I like to do is I often like to um, crochet right over the string here, but if you'd prefer you can always uh, sew them in as well during like along the purple section here. So I think what I'll do is probably two stitches for each color. So I just put my crochet needle through both sides, grab the string, pull it through, and then go through both stitches like this. We're just going to crochet the sides together. And then we're going to go into the blue and do the same thing. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get through both. 
through both and through. It may be that I'll do three stitches instead of two. So through the blue we did three. And there you can see starting to come up the corner there. Make sure my greens are aligned. Through the next. Yeah, it looks like three stitches. Now do the light green. And make sure the yellow is aligned into the yellow. Again, the last yellow, it looks like we'll cover up the last of the ends of the purple. All right, now through the orange, make sure the orange is lined up. And finally to the top here, we have our red. That means the bag is uh, closed up on one side and still a flap here. Here we go to the red. And again, you wanna make sure it's lined up so the top is flat here. And there you have it. One side is uh, completely closed off. Now, to make the strap for your bag, <clears throat> you can either crochet a chain like that, or if you prefer, sometimes I like to finger knit. Sometimes I think that's a little faster and it does give a tighter string. And so you just finger net or crochet a chain as long as you want. I like to make it so that from my shoulder to my waist that it's long enough of that. So you can just keep measuring to decide where is it that you want the bag to how long you want it to be. And so just keep going. <clears throat> I think I might pause and then come back and show you what you do once you have your chain as long as you want it to be. Okay. All right, now that we have a nice long chain for our strap, we're going to take the end of the loop here, come to the top of our bag, and make our first stitch to attach the strap. And again, I think we did three for each. So three stitches, so here's whoop, one, two, and three. And again, you just want to make sure that your colors are aligned so they're the same on the front as they are in the back. So now we're into the orange. Another 
a stitch under the orange. green dark green Then the purple. Nice little pull through. And pull through this way. And then what you can do Put it inside out and just show uh, sew the like, extra string in here and then it'll be done. So there you have it. A beautiful phone case for going on walks or going outside and out and about.